35 years at your Louisville Zoo. Let's go check it out. Just out here getting candy. Hi. Thanks for the treat. I say thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Boo at the zoo is a great event. All of us being fox, we can find them in a crowd. I took a picture with Pikachu. I feel like I'm eight, but it's okay. I'm not ashamed at all. I'm not ashamed at all. Shoot, you only live once. You gotta have fun. come every year and it's more of a uh, tradition for us so we just keep doing it every year until she grows out of it. I like the decorations and the costumes. We brought Max here which is the big bad wolf. Can you say hey? And Macy's little pig, his little sister. It's fun to see the other kids and to know, I mean like the commercial says, it's not scary. He has fun. See all the animals and get the candy. What? I get a lot of candy and I like it here. Like all of the crazy stuff here. She got to get dressed up an extra time and uh, wear her Hermione costume and come out and see all the characters and just enjoy the night. Willy Wonka, Willy Wonka, the amazing chocolate tea. It's great to see it from the other perspective now. I mean, a little bit stressful trying to get off of work, but at the same time, you know, it's worth it. It's fun for the whole family. Some good volunteers here. We really do. And they show up. Do y'all have your waivers and stuff? Jamie? Yeah. Everybody needs one. Here you go, baby. Just date, sign, and print. Go with number 17. That gives them four. All right, babies. I need another person right here. Ladies. You all are doing youth board, though. Here's your uh, money right here. We'll come back and get your lunches later, okay? Here's your strength. All right, babies. Thank you all. How is everyone this evening? Oh, y'all got to do better than that. How is everyone this evening? My name is Diane Taylor. I'm the coordinator of volunteers. I've been here forever. I want to thank you guys for coming out and helping us with this event. I know it's probably going to be a little chilly tonight, so I hope you both brought your thermal underwear. There's some rules. We got to go over some rules. Your sticker goes here on your chest. This lets the guests know it's okay to take whatever you're giving out. No trick-or-treating. You've had your chance and you're too old. Don't even think about it, okay? Don't take that candy from my babies. One piece of candy per child, one piece. Everybody cool? Y'all look like y'all so ready to go. We love volunteering. We're part of um, North Bullet High School, HOSA. And so um, HOSA is Health Occupation Students of America, and we do a lot of volunteer work. The kids are really excited when they see the candy. Their parents love it. I love seeing all the different costumes. It's so much fun. I'm really excited about this experience. I really love kids. All right, here we go. Booths, one through five and 16 through 20. Up and go get your lunch and sit on the, sit on the plaza. Up here, there you go. Remember your booth numbers. Everybody get your trash bags. Everybody stand right here for Thomas. Get your mustard and ketchup and all the works. What you need, baby girl? Need another hot dog, anybody? Yeah. Take all right, girl, here you go. Oh, thank you. All right. Y'all got your napkins? Okay. All right, mustard cat. Everybody hang right there. All right. You gonna want, I'm telling you, you're going to want this later. All right, baby. Here. There you go. There you go, baby. 11 through 15. Get your sack lunches. All right. Thank you all. You want another one? Okay. Oh, hello. All right, time to roll. All right, Marcel, you're good. We got to go. We got 20 minutes. Everybody go. All right, Thomas, you're ready. All right, we're ready. Thank you all. You have a good night, okay? You have a good night. I'll see you later.
This UPS maze. The world's largest Halloween party would not be possible without our sponsors like Ford, Subway, and PNC. And let's not forget our presenting sponsor, Meyer. Meyer's been involved with the zoo for nine years here at the world's largest Halloween party uh, in the world. So uh, it's been a lot of fun. You know, you see all the kids, you get to have a lot of fun. It's a great family event. I mean, what a better place to bring your kids and go through, and it's safe, and you have a lot of fun. You get to see a lot of the things in the zoo, a lot of the animals at the same time, and you get to pick up some candy while you're doing it. So, For me, Halloween was a lot of fun. You get to, you get to dress up, you get to go run around, and you get lots of candy. So that's always a, always a good thing for the kids. Meyer's been around for since 1934, and for as long as I've been with the company, over 26 years, we have always been a partner that loves to be involved with the community. Uh, they do hundreds of events, hundreds, of, and they're, they're not a company to go out and say, hey, we do this, hey, we do that, but they're a company that's just big on their family values. They love to be part of the community, part of the, the events that go around uh, and happen within the city. And it's a great company to be with. They, they, they just do lots of exciting things with the community. So you can always come down and get your your face painted, um, like I did. But it's uh, it's a lot of fun. I mean, you could have fun doing lots of things, scaring people, doing lots of things out there. One of our favorite characters here at the world's largest Halloween party is the Headless Horseman of the Sleepy Hollow Tour. And you gotta have a horse for a Headless Horseman Tour and Pilots of Beauty. Good evening, my name is Michael. I'm the town farrier in our charming little village of Sleepy Hollow. If you care to come with me, I shall take you back in time and explore the mysterious beginnings of the legend of the Headless Horseman. 
please come with me and try to stay on the path. Once upon a time, there was a tall, skinny fellow by the name of Ichabod Crane. He was a funny chap whose clothes were just a little too tight and ears just a little too large. Well, he was quite the singer, and he loved to tell ghost stories to all the villagers. As a matter of fact, he fell in love with one of those villagers, a charming young lady by the name of Katrina. But so had the town brute. His name was Brom Bones, and he was a clever fellow, as well as a bit of a prankster. Please follow me, we'll continue on. Ichabod also was a wonderful dancer, and one evening at the village barn dance, he danced and flirted with Katrina all night, making Brom Bones very jealous. At one point, he leaned down and whispered something in Katrina's ear. I think he asked her to marry him, but nobody really knows for sure. Well, anyway, a few moments later, Ichabod left the dance feeling all brokenhearted. I guess that she probably said no. Well, as he got on his horse and rode home that evening, Ichabod started remembering all those ghost stories that he was telling the villagers, and he became very nervous. What was, did you all hear that? No, it's probably just the crickets. Let's keep moving, shall we? Speaking of strange noises, as Ichabod got deeper and deeper into the forest, he started hearing some strange noises himself. Some snorting and some stomping of hooves. Well, then he saw it just on the horizon, the silhouette of a man on a horse without a head, a headless horseman carrying in the pommel of his saddle a large round object about the size of a large pumpkin or maybe a man's head. Well, this frightened Ichabod incredibly. So he wrapped his arms around the neck of his horse and took off as fast as he could with the horseman giving chase. Did you all see that? Probably just my imagination. Well, let's keep moving, shall we? Well, the last thing that Ichabod saw was that large round object being hurled by the horseman, knocking him clean off of his horse. Well, the next day, the villagers found the horse and the large remains of a rather shattered pumpkin. But Ichabod Crane was never seen in Sleepy Hollow again. Anytime he was asked about it, Brom Bones would just get this mischievous grin on his face and start laughing. <laughs> Do you believe that the horseman is real? Anyway, Brom Bones wound up marrying the beautiful Katrina. And to this day, the villagers, whenever asked about Ichabod Crane, they love to talk about how he was spirited away by the headless horseman. Do you believe that the horseman exists? Oh, me? I've lived in this village my entire life, and I've never once seen a headless horseman. So if you do, please just let me know. Just say, hey, wave, take a look. And, uh, no, no uh, I'm, you can wait until it actually happens. You don't have to. No, no I, I know this joke. You don't, I'm not going to look behind. Oh, okay, I will. Well, um, I've uh, been wrong before. Does anybody want to, want to have a photo? They started this when I was a kid, and it being really, really fun and magical. She's wearing the ruby slippers she gave her. Oh, so she is. Well, bust my buttons. Why didn't you say that in the first place? Come on in. Oh, it's been real fun. A lot of candy. Mommy. A lot of kids. A lot of costumes. to work on Halloween, so I had to do it before time. Give everybody a cup of tea. <laughs> Our son's been asking to go to the zoo, so we just figure, why not? Got a whale of a tail to tell you that, a whale of a tail or two. Have a very merry unbirthday. <laughs> well, he's having a good time with a little bit of animal that they didn't leave out, and at the same time, he still gets to get his candy and have fun and see his cousins. So it all worked out in the end. Hope you enjoyed your tour with all the characters through the world's largest Halloween party at the Louisville Zoo. We'll see you next time.